Victoria here from Bella Crafts and today I'm here to make with you Eddie the Elephant. Um, so we're going to make this one out of an old milk bottle. So we need to make sure that we get our milk bottle cut out and ready. Mummies and daddies we're going to show you how to do that. And then once we've got our milk bottle all cut, we just need to make sure that we get our painted t-shirts or aprons on. Mummies and daddies, make yourself a nice hot cup of tea and we'll get started. Okay, so we've got everything that we need here ready to make Eddie the Elephant. Um, so we've got our leftover milk bottle piece from yesterday from doing Gina the Giraffe. Um, so again, we're just going to need to get this bit cut out ready and then we can get started on all the painting and sticking. So mummies and daddies, we might just need your help with this little bit here. So we're just, again, we can take your pen and we can just mark round. So we're going to cut the handle off just here. And then we're going to come round this way, just like so. This is just going to make the legs of our Eddie the Elephant. We're just going to cut that piece off. And then once we've cut this piece off, we can then cut our little legs in as well. So we just take our scissors and cut round here. So I'm going to start just on this little corner piece. So again, if you just squash it flat, and then you should be able to get your scissors round there, or you could use a craft knife um, just to cut through this bit here. And then once you've made your first little incision, then you can just kind of pop your scissors inside and cut round the rest of it. I'm going to cut round here. Just around there as well. So I'm just going to cut these kind of squiggly lines off. Just so you can't see any of the messy bits that I've done. And then all we want to do is just cut round. And we're just going to draw out a little shape here. A little shape back here. And a little shape here. And what that's going to do is give us our four little elephant legs. Okay, so once we've got our shape all cut out, our elephant should look something a bit like this. So we've got all of the um, four legs there. And then we've got Eddie's trunk just down the middle here. Now we're going to start off just doing some more gluing. So a bit like we did on Gina the Giraffe. So we're just going to paint a little area with the glue like so. And then we can pick up our paper using our paintbrush, stick it on, and then we just want to smooth it all down just around those edges. And again, we can just kind of wrap it round the back there just to get it really nice and smooth. And you'll notice we haven't given you all grey bits of tissue paper. We have gone bright, bright colours because we like to pretend at Better Crafts that there are magical animals out there who are all colours of the rainbow. Um, so we have given you lots of brightly coloured tissue papers. If you've got any leftover bits of yellow from doing Gina, um, obviously you can use those to stick on your elephant as well. And what we want to do is just keep going with our tissue paper until we have got all of our little um, Eddie the Elephant covered in these really lovely bright coloured bits of tissue paper. So we're just going to keep on sticking all the way around. You can overlap your bits of tissue paper too. You can put some glue over the top as well of your tissue paper if you want to. And we're just going to keep on sticking all the way around. Okay. Okay, so there we go. We've got our little elephant all covered with the brightly coloured tissue paper now. And you can see he's looking really colourful and happy. 
So the next bit that we're going to do, we're just going to take his ear pieces. So we've got two little ear pieces here. And just so that they match with the rest of him, we're just going to paint on some glue like so. And we're going to make sure that we get these all covered up with our really nice coloured bits of tissue paper as well. So I'm just going to stick a bit over here and I'm going to make sure this purposefully is kind of overlapping the edges a bit here. And I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with those edges in a second. So I'm just going to cover this one all over. Like so. Yeah, a nice pink piece on here as well. There we go. So it's all covered up with the tissue paper. And then I'm just going to turn it over like so. And then I'm just going to use a little bit more glue on the back here. And just fold over these edges like this. And then that's just going to give us the really nice kind of rounded elephant ear shape. Ooh, stick to my fingers on the other side <laughs> and then I'm just going to in our little gap in the middle here just stick on a little bit more paper just so that this side is covered with the tissue paper as well there's this nice big blue on here there we go so it's all covered with all the lovely bright colors and then I'm just going to fold this bit down here. And I'm going to make sure I've got lots of glue on this end here. And I'm going to stick that on our little elephant here. It's just going to go at the top there and it's going to give our elephant a nice big ear. Okay, so now we just need to do the same with our other ear. So glue all over. Like so, we can use our bits of tissue paper just to go over the top. Okay, let's use that little bit of yellow there. There we are, and again we're just going to flip it over and just stick these bits around here. And then we want another little piece of tissue paper just for this side. Just another blue bit, I think, over here. And maybe just another yellow bit along there. And there. There we go. So again, all covered with the tissue paper. So we just want to make sure we do a little fold like so. Make sure this bit along here where we've just folded it is really nice and gluey. Stick this one onto the other side of his head. There we go. And here he is looking a little bit lopsided with his ears. Let me squidge that one round a little bit more. So he just needs some eyes to go on next. So I'm going to choose, I think we might do some sleepy eyes on our Eddie the Elephant. And his eyes are going to go on, so this is his trunk here. So his eyes are going to go on just here. And there we go. There is our finished Eddie the Elephant. So I think his ears just need to dry in place. And then because they've got lots of glue on, you should find that they kind of toughen up and they will feel quite solid. And there we go. So you might want to add a bit of your glitter paint onto your Eddie the Elephant or you might want to use some of your sequins. But then he can sit on your shelf and keep our Gina the Giraffe company. <laughs>